Blackmagic Design just dropped DaVinci Resolve version 20, which is a major update with over 100 new features, including some seriously impressive AI tools. Now, while a bunch of these AI features are exclusive to the paid studio version, the free version still gets some awesome upgrades. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today. In this video, I'm sharing my top five favorite new features that you can try out right now in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. I'll leave a link to it below, download it, and let's jump in. In previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, you needed to go into the Fairlight tab in order to access the voiceover feature. Now in the main timeline editing mode, you'll see there's a new voiceover microphone icon just beneath the video preview window. Click on that and a voiceover recorder pop-up will appear. You can select the microphone from the drop-down list. You can select which track you would like to record your audio into. By default, it would automatically create a voiceover track for you. And you can also give it a file name so that it records the file separately. You get access to more voiceover features in the cut window. Here you'll see the new voiceover record icon again, but just above that, you get a few different options for voiceover. In the first menu on the left, you can click on it and choose your audio source, be it built-in microphone or external. You can choose which track to record into. But you also get an additional option where you can monitor the timeline audio, the timeline and microphone, or the microphone input only, and also a mute monitoring when recording option, which prevents audio feedback. There's also an option to add a three second or five second countdown, and you can also change the voiceover recording file location. If you'd like to see the script on screen as you're recording your voiceover, click on the load script file option and this allows you to import any standard text file and once imported it appears as a teleprompter style overlay on top of your video footage once ready to record click on Q to bring the playhead to the beginning of the timeline and then click on record the timer will appear as I selected a five second timer in the previous section and now the teleprompter script will appear on screen so that I can actually see the wording as I'm recording. If you want to change the speed of the teleprompter text, it's all about your in and out points on the timeline. So if you want to slow it down, you can stretch out the timeline a little bit, go back to the cut window, click on record, and you should notice this will slow down a little bit now. That's better. This is a demonstration of the load script feature in DaVinci Resolve. The next feature is a dedicated keyframe editor in the cut and edit pages, which allows for finer parameter animation. Use the keyframe curves and parameter modes to edit keyframes and customize animation shapes with ease controls. Customers can also use the keyframe tray below the timeline to review and navigate timeline keyframes. The third feature I'm gonna look at is on the cut and edit and color pages as well. When a vertical timeline or project is loaded, the page layout automatically rearranges to optimize working with a vertical viewer. Tools and palettes are moved to ensure that the customers have maximum use of the screen without wanted space and without the need to constantly zoom. The fourth feature that you can get access to in the new version of DaVinci Resolve version 20 is the Text Plus tool, which has been updated to include the layouts point text box, circle or path styles, giving the user more refined control over the layout of their text graphics. There's also a new multi text box. This allows you to set up multiple layers of text within a single text element. So if you have a heading, subheading, subtitle that you want to appear as overlay on a video, rather than setting up individual text boxes, you can use the multi-text option and you could add these separate layers of text, each within the one text instance on your timeline. 
The user can also inspect, use the inspector tab to set individual style parameters within each text layer, including appearance, layout, warping and keyframe animation and the final feature that we're going to be taking a look at today is the ai audio eq which allows you to adjust levels and dialogue to match one clip from another so this is really useful for those of you that are editing podcast style videos or any type of video where you have multiple microphone sources you've probably experienced this before when you record Perhaps one of the microphones is located slightly further away than the other, or maybe you're using two different types of microphones. And when you play back the two tracks on the timeline, you'll notice that one speaker sounds louder than the other, has more presence in the vocals, more rim noise or less. So the challenge to match that manually can be quite difficult. Now with this new AI tool, you can match the vocal tracks by taking the data from one track and applying it to the other. To access this feature, you need to be in the Fairlight tab. And I've laid out two different audio files on the timeline. The first one, as you can see by the large waveform was recorded into a microphone that was very close to the subject matter, a matter of about five to 10 centimeters away. Where I'm speaking up very close to the microphone and the audio, is it about the correct level that I would want for a podcast recording? The second recording, you could barely see the waveform because the subject was around two meters away from the microphone. I'm standing back way further from the microphone, so the audio doesn't have the same kind of presence. So the object is to make the two audio files sound the same. We want to match the audio characteristics of the first clip. To do that, we're going to right click on the clip and we're going to go into clip operations and we'll start with the EQ matcher and we'll select capture EQ profile. Then we'll go into the second clip and we'll right click on that. Clip operations, EQ matcher, and you can apply the EQ to the individual clip by selecting apply to clip EQ or you can apply it to the whole track if that audio file is placed on a separate track and that will affect all the files within the track. So, but for this example, I'm just gonna select the particular clip and now those characteristics have been copied across. Let's go back and right click on our source file, clip operations, level matcher, capture level profile, right click on the second clip, level matcher, apply level profile. And as you can see by the audio waveform, we have now adjusted the levels to match the first clip. And we've also changed the EQ. So now both tracks should sound the same. And now I'm standing back way further from the microphone. So the audio doesn't have the same kind of presence. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video demonstrating the top five features of the free version of DaVinci Resolve version 20. If you want to get access to this software, just follow the link in the description box below. Download the public beta, check out all the features and more, and feel free to drop your comments in the comments box below. Whether you want to share what your favorite features are or ask any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you on the next one. Bye for now.